Hi everyone. Now that we know a bit more about port, let's talk about building your software catalog. So software catalogs come in all shapes and sizes. Some organizations focus primarily on microservices architecture, some focus on Kubernetes and Argo CD catalogs, some focus more on their cloud environment or their multi-cloud multi environment, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, software catalogs can be very unique to every organization. And at Port, we believe that every organization should have the choice to create a software catalog that fits them perfectly. So how do you go about building your software catalog? At Port, building a software catalog is comprised of two steps. The first is defining your data model, and the second is ingesting data to the software catalog that you built. In order to define your data model, Port provides you with a variety of no-code elements. We call these blueprints and relations. A blueprint represents an asset in your catalog and in your infrastructure. That could be a deployment, a package, a service, a Kubernetes cluster, a cloud provider, so on and so forth. And relations allow you to create connections between those different assets and actually create a dependency graph that gives you a good overview of which elements do you have in your software catalog and how they relate to one another. This allows you to create views that show you exactly which deployments deployed which service, uh, where is my service deployed on which Kubernetes cluster or cloud environment, so on and so forth. Now, after you have that data model in place, Port provides you with a variety of UI widgets, integrations, and plugins to easily ingest data into your software catalog in ways that seamlessly integrate with your existing infrastructure and processes. So for example, you can use our Kubernetes Explorer to get data from your Kubernetes cluster. You can use our Terraform provider to get information from your infrastructure as code, and so on and so forth. Up next, we're going to talk about how to define your data model. And then once we have a data model in place, we're going to talk about how to ingest data into your software catalog.